Hi guys, good to have you all back. In case you're new to my channel, my name is Margaret from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journal projects and the occasional vintage treasure hunting. Now guys, it was my birthday yesterday, so I need to thank all of you guys for all the lovely birthday wishes. Uh, they came in on YouTube, on Instagram, my Gmail, everywhere. You guys are awesome. I had a fantastic day. I'm going to tell you all about it later. But now let me explain what I have on my desk, because um, I think you're going to like it. <laughs> let me explain. I have a prototype that I want to make with you guys today. Yes, using my new kit, uh, it's called Ephemera Red. I did an, an Ephemera Blue a um, couple of months ago. I still love, love, love that one. But I was like, let's do something in red because I, I don't really like red. I must be honest, I don't like red, but I use it a lot in my project. So I have a new digital kit that I want to show you. I want to make something with it. And also I have a freebie. Yeah, because... In the Netherlands, we have a saying, Wie jarig is trakteert, uh, which sort of translates, if it's your birthday, it's your treat. So yeah, I'm going to treat you to a lovely freebie. I'm going to take you through the, the kit first and then the freebie, and then I'm going to show you this one. It's going to be fun. It's going to be lots of fun. So let me show you the kit first. The kit is called a Femra Red, and you can get it in my coffee shop. I am going to call it coffee shop from now on. It's on my Ko-Fi site or however you want to call it. So yeah, from now on it's called coffee shop because I really don't like coffee. <laughs> I don't drink it. Uh, it's seven pages. Uh, let me uh, flip through it with you. I'm going to start with this one. It is a pretty collage page. I am actually sort of proud of myself because it took me a long time to make this. Uh, I absolutely love it. It has a sort of a postal theme. You know, that's sort of my thing. Every every sort of thing on here has sort of a red accent. I love it. Uh, it's all scanned vintage and antique ephemera that I own myself. So I hope you like it. So this is not very girly girly. Uh, more like a Tim Holtzy style. Because I like that. But sometimes I like something girly girly. So I made a similar one. Uh, with flowers. Yes, I put on some flowers. Just have it a little bit more, you know, nice and cutesy. So another pretty, pretty one. Um, collage. Collage sheet. You can have this as a journal cover or page in your journal or just cut everything out, tear it out, you know. So two uh, collage sheets. Then I have two sheets with um, scant ephemera. Like this. This came in... Uh, Happy mail slash present from uh, one of my subscribers. These are real antique vintage sort of labels on liqueur and syrup. <laughs> uh, most of it is from the Netherlands or Germany or France. So this is uh, Dutch, this is French and this is German. Yeah, so European, European. Then another sheet with lovely ephemera pieces. Another one this is actually um, pretty funny. It says AA Block. And that's my maiden name. And my brother is called Ad. <laughs> so, from my brother. <laughs> no, it isn't. So, lovely, lovely sort of receipts and, and checks and bills. And I just love this with the red on here. Yeah. Now, these two sheets, let me tell you. Uh, it's actually a project. This is the project that I want to do uh, with you today. It's a project to make a mini journal. So cute, right? So these are the covers. These are the pages inside. Yeah. Then I have two more pages inside. And you can add more if you want to. You could add um, some of the of this if you want. And then all sorts of lovely bits and bobs. I have bits and bobs. Yeah, like tickets and labels and uh, these are all vintage real ones. So I didn't sort of draw them or make them. I own these, so I scanned them and I think you're going to love them because they're very first style. Yeah, so that's the kit. Then I have a beautiful coffee dyed page. Let me tell you something about coffee dye. Uh, coffee dyed paper. I love coffee dyed paper. I love everything about it. The smell and um, colors and the feel of it and the sound of it. I just don't like making it. 
I don't. So I received this um, in a beautiful uh, birthday mail from a lovely friend of mine. So I scanned it. I scanned it. How are you, are you going to use it? I use this as a backing for, let's say, um, these pages, if you want to make this into a page. So you can use it as a backing page, yeah? Lovely. So these are the seven pages of the kits of the kit and um and it has a complete sort of project in here now let me show you the freebie my freebie this time is three pages i made three for you guys yes because it's my birthday and i thought well make something nice for the lovely guys yeah there you go i have made two journal pages smaller ones yeah so you can fold these in this is like the middle so it's a folded page um it's a scan of an antique almanac the almanac is from 1913 so it's 110 years old it's amazing decorated it with some lovely bits and bobs um, and some lace in the middle so you can uh, fold it in and i have another page here yeah so two lovely double pages for a journal if you're going to make a journal especially if you are going to make a february sort of journal because these pages are from Fe this is french from february 1913 this is the last week of january and then this is february february and also these two so lovely you can journal on here and decorate it a little bit more however you want to so lovely i also made a larger one these are actually the same pages this is the decorated one lovely and then this is the blank one you can do everything that you want with this have it as a page in your journal uh, only cut this piece out or um, alter it a little bit more whatever you want i left the tatty edge on here because i absolutely loved it it is so fantastic the the pages of the real almanac are very very brittle um, i don't think i'll be able to to use them um unfortunately but you know it was antique so i could scan them so lovely now i also have a page of coffee dyed yes again this came in in uh, my birthday mail from a lovely friend of mine and you can use these to back all of them or oh, use another project project whatever you want so three uh freebie pages the freebie is also going to be called uh red ephemera or or maybe red february yes something like this on my in my coffee shop guys um you can download it there it says zero euros or zero dollars which means free so don't be afraid if it says zero amount yeah free free is free okay that's it for the kit i hope you love it i am really can you tell i'm excited about it yes i'm really really excited about it uh it's going to be one that i'm going to use a lot of times now i want to make this little project with you guys i'm going to show it to you and then i'm going to tell you what we're going to need it's a small mini mini journal i just absolutely love it everything that i've used well paper wise is in the in the kit i've used this sort of ball clip as a closure maybe i want to do something different with the one that we're making now but just let's see the only thing i have added is a piece of black cardstock just to have it uh you know be a little bit sturdier have it a little bit as a border so yeah you open it up and it's it's a mini journal it's so cute, right? With all these pages that I really, really like. I backed all, all of it with the coffee dyed paper. And then embellished it. And you can use whatever you like. I made mini pockets uh, with the labels. I also used a coffee dyed page from the freebie. So if you're going to purchase this kit, be also sure to um, download the freebie, of course. And this is uh, actually sort of a tuck spot. So cute. And I've used uh, an eyelet here. I just thought it would look lovely. Like some, some something interactive. You can maybe put a secret message on the back. This is the, um, the middle of the signature. And then another pocket here. You can embellish it a little bit further. Or, you know, actually journal in it. Another small pocket. And then over here, another sweet embellishment. And also made a pocket on the back cover. And um, I put a label here. It's just awesomely cute. I just really love it. So we're going to make this. What are we going to use to make this? Let me show you. 
For paper, I'm going to use these two pages of the kit. This is actually sort of a set. Uh, with all the bits and bobs and then the pages that go in the little mini journal I'm also going to use these two pages one from the freebie and one from the kit yeah the, um, the backing pages with the coffee dye so what I do I print these out then flip them over and print these on the back sides yeah make any sense hopefully it does so that's the paper that we're going to use and I'm going to use a piece of black cardstock to uh, put in between um the outside of the cover and the inside of the cover yeah to make it a little bit sturdier for one and also i think the black border adds a little bit something so and then um well basic tools uh, you need scissors to cut everything out i am a corner rounding kind of girl so corner rounder i'm gonna use glue i'm going to use um a circle punch to make a notch in a pocket or maybe not i don't know but you know if you want to make a notch bone folder for folding uh i'm going to ink because i like that i have used yes black soot on this one because there's a lot of black on here and i thought why not try it i needed to try it out so black soot and for the pages inside i've used Fred burlap use any color you, lo uh, you like lobbies no worries now i did bind this this is like um a bound signature in here for that i am using um an awl or also called pokey tool big needle and black embroidery floss use any sort of thread floss or whatever you have that matches um you don't need a pokey tool you need a big needle that's what you need also if you like i don't know about the binding margaret i am a little bit afraid of that <clears throat> don't be it's it's very simple just practice on it you can also staple it because it's small enough to fit probably in your staple thingy yeah stapler it's called a stapler love <clears throat> now i have put in, in uh, an eyelet you don't need to do that but for the eyelet i have used um micro pedal and of course a small a small eyelet is that it i think so yeah, I don't think I'll uh, add any more bits and bobs outside of the kit. But you know, you never know with me. Maybe, maybe I will. I have no clue. Now, let me tell you what I'm going to do uh, off camera a lot. Off camera, I'm going to print these ones again. Yes, so I'm going to back these. It's going to look like so. Yes, both of them. And then cut everything out. Cut everything out. I will round the corners on all the pages that are going to go on the inside and on the on the cover. Yeah. Um, and not on this one. Not on the bits and bobs. And I'm also going to ink it. I'm going to ink the red parts with the black soot. And uh, the other parts with probably Freight Burlap or something like this. Yeah. So I'll be right back. In the meantime, you can do two things, guys. Just pause the video. Get the kit. Start cutting out. Printing and cutting out. Or watch the whole video, see if you like it. And then, you know, buy the set, print everything out and watch the video again. Because, you know, it's always fun. So, I'll be right back. I'm back. Did you miss me? Well, um, cut everything out, rounded corners. Yeah. And inked, well, this one with the black suit. I really love how, how it turned out. And then these with the frayed burlap. And everything is backed with the coffee dyed paper. Yeah. Really, really cute. I, did, I didn't I did do any inking on um, the bits and bobs. And I will also show you how I will cut this. Not with scissors. With something else. Um, so I'm going to do some inking and cutting later. But first let's assemble uh, the journal. I'm going to start with the cover. Yes, this is going to be sandwiched in between the two layers so this is the outside of the cover and the inside it is black paper so i'm not going to see any markings if i mark it because i need to cut it a little bit smaller of course so i'm using this um white jelly rolly pen thingy i'm just gonna leave like not a uh, one sixteenth of an inch always wanted to say that one sixteenth of an inch a really really small bit just to border all around it so i'm marking it here and here trying to have every side even on all four sides yeah and i'm using my paper cutter for this my trimmer 
There you go. There's one. And the other one. Yep. Inside of this cover. I'm going to round corners. Let me tell you about my birthday, guys. Yes. Um, well, I was up very, very early because um, for my birthday, I got a new dining <laughs> dining room table. Yeah. I really wanted one. Uh, well, we really wanted one. So we used my birthday as an excuse to get a new dining room table. So we pur purchased it a couple of weeks ago. And then, um, no, by coincidence, it arrived on my birthday at 7 o'clock in the morning. So we were up really, really early. I love my table. Um, I'm going to uh, show you later when we find the matching chairs. Because we... <laughs> Our chairs are okay, but we want different chairs. So I'm going to post some pictures um, when the set is complete. So we have the sandwich in between, like the ham or cheese or what have you. So I want to glue this on here and have all the edges uh, be the same. Yeah. Uh, what's this? Oh, something came off my... Well, came off here. I need to fix it. Something came off. Well, it's a year old and I use it every day. So it was bound to happen. I'm using art for this. You could also use um, glue stick. But I did find out that if you use art, it will warp less. And that's what I want. Less warping. But it will glue very very quickly so i really need to position it straight away in the right proportions here here there 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 well it's on here now it this is french i don't know really what it is it was something that you could put some seals in or post the stem i don't really know it's french so this is the outside then we're gonna flip it over and do the same on the inside so yeah, so um, my husband could not get off work, but decided to work from, from home today. So we had a lovely lunch together and I went to the hairdressers. So I pampered myself a little bit and was on the telephone with all my family and friends all day to congratulate me. So I had lovely conversations. And um, then at night we went out to eat of course because that's what we love to do and we went for sushi which is probably my favorite i mean get me a nice red steak <laughs> or sushi so we went for sushi now i should let this dry for a bit and then we need to fold it in yeah in the middle but i will let it dry for now and in the meantime i'm going to fix my glue dangle yeah glue dangle fixed paper dry i think i will use my scoreboard for this so sorry i didn't mention it um when i showed you all the tools that we're going to be using uh, i think that will work much nicer so i measured it and put a small dot here in the middle in the middle and i'm gonna use my scoreboard I'm really going to score it because it's uh, three layers thick. Also, guys, I'm going to get questions. Yes, I printed everything out on 180 grams or 200 grams um, paper. It's not really cardstock, but it's it's heavier paper. So actually, these are this is a really, really heavy piece. So hopefully the folding will go well without it tearing it and such. Hopefully it does. Well, no, it doesn't. Well, let me sh let me tell you what I've done wrong. And what I did right with the other one. Okay. Do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> Before I glued this on, I folded this piece. Folded this piece and this piece in the middle. So everything was already folded before I glued it on. Yes, the, the gluing on is going to be a little bit more difficult. But it will prevent it from, from ripping. Now, it's okay. It is actually okay because uh, I am going to ink it. I'm going to ink it. 
So, with the black soot. It does rip a lot, yeah. But we MacGyvered it. Oh, I actually love it because it's almost like there's an even a black border on this side. So happy accident, happy accident. And I do love the tatty bits as well. It's nice and tatty. I just need to ink every bit now. Yeah. It's fine. It even looks better. I love the tatty edges. Yeah. Oh, the mailman. I have mail. So, yeah. Uh, do it the other way around. So, then you'll have a much nicer. Or, or you like it like this. Whatever you choose, lovies. Now, let's do the signature on the inside. You will also notice a little bit of a difference in size with these two. Let me tell you how that happened. Because um, on my printer, when you print it out, you can um, tell it to fit to page or not to fit to page. Yeah, it's like something that you click on it says fit to page or not to fit to page. So uh, not to fit to page and fit to page. It will make a difference, see, in size uh, it doesn't matter which one you do but it does matter that the two pages that you've printed out are on the same setting so fit the page or not fit the page so these were smaller but that's okay because these were the same size i'm just gonna fold these in you can if you want to um, use your scoreboard but you can also just fold them in i'm going to fold two with the lovely uh, letterheads on the outside. Uh, and probably one on the inside. I'm going to uh, fold this one on the inside. Because I want this as my center page. There you go. So this is going to be the first page. This is going to be the center page. That is sort of my go to process now i want this to fold uh, like so i have this one in the middle over here or like so yeah i'm gonna do it like so and then this one needs to be in the middle as well uh, yes i'm going to fold it uh, with the lovely image on the outside so only the center page is going to be folded on the inside and there and then there so let's see we have our first page coffee dye lovely seals here then the next page coffee dye here and then the lovely letterhead Flip it over. Again, another coffee dye. There are two coffee dye now next to each other. But that's okay because they're different. And I'm going to embellish them. And this is the center. And then uh, the two coffee dyes. And again, these lovely ones. Yeah? So make sure everything is in the right order. Order. There you go. I'm going to use a ball clip for this. You could also use paper clips, whatever you want. So we're going to do the binding method with this, but you can also maybe use a stapler. Now you need to line up your signature, make sure everything is uh, the right side up in the right order in your journal. Push it to the in, to the center and make sure you leave enough room on both sides. I did sort of scan them and position them so these will be smaller so they will fit in the red sort of cover. Yeah, that's that was my idea. And I'm gonna clamp it like so. Taking out my awl. Now, do not poke your holes like so. I always do it with the um, 
cover at an angle. So poke it at an angle. You can do all the measuring things. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna, it's one signature. So just poke a hole in the middle, eyeball the middle, see if it comes out over here in the center. Yes, it does. Then one on the top, leaving like a half an inch or a little bit more than half an inch on the top again from the center to the outside and there it comes there you go and then leaving um the same space on the bottom you can measure again i am not going to it'll be fine there you go now for the but if you if you're not gonna use an awl uh, you're gonna do um you know the stapling uh, have the ball clip or the paper clip on and then put your stapler be sure to put it like so so the um, the flat side is on the outside and like the sharp side is on the inside yeah i always make that mistake i do it like this because that's much easier and quicker i have inky fingers already uh but do it on the outside again do as i say not as i do <laughs> Right, I'm going to use this embroidery floss. I'm going to uh, measure, it needs to be two and a half times the length. I'm going to do it a little bit more because maybe I want to have this as a closure as well. Okay, now, next trick. If you want to have these on the outside, start on the outside. If you want to have these on the inside, start on the inside. I want to have them on the outside. I just think it looks nice. Let's see if I can do this without a needle threader. There you go. See? Right. So. Starting from the outside in the middle. In the middle, guys. There you go. I'm going to ink this bit again. <laughs> A little bit of paper sticking out, it's still white. I'm just gonna ink it. Has nothing to do with the folding. I also did the inking with um with this with this one. So starting from the outside in the middle. And there you go. Now I'm gonna leave. I, I did take out a large, a large piece. I'm gonna leave a larger piece because I want to have this as the closure, I think. I think I'm gonna have it as a closure. Start, uh, take the top uh, half or the bottom half, doesn't really matter. Pick one. With it, whichever one tickles your fancy, lovies. There you go. Pulling it through, not too tight because we do not want to have this go back. Now we need to go all the way to the bottom, yeah? Or to the top depending on where you start it. Is there a hole here? <laughs> I've inked it so well, I can't find it. It's here. It's here. So, there you go. Pulling it through. Yes. Now we're back on the inside and now we need to put it through the middle again, which is a little bit difficult, especially when you're working with embroidery floss, because you could sort of split the, the floss because you're going to poke straight through it. So be careful not to poke the embroidery floss. Just try to avoid it. I did. Now one uh, side of the floss is on this side and one is on the other side. Yeah. Pull it tight. Not too tight, love it, because you could rip the whole thing if you want to. Now we're going to make a knot, a double knot, not knot, one, and two. There you go. Now you can remove this. And we did a binding. Yes. And I think I want to have this as a closure as well. Let's see how that, that will look. lovely love it love it maybe i'm gonna put something on the ends don't know yet don't know yet so your journal is basically finished so uh, let's embellish it with all the loveliness that we have 
for the bits and bobs i cut everything out but these tickets have these sort of um half circles in here and this also has a circle i'm going to use um this tool you might have this one or you might have the like the classic one with the two holes i don't know what it's called it's called in the netherlands called a perforator a perforator yeah uh, but you can also use your crocodile i'm just going to make a hole here on where the hole is sort of indicated yes and also i'm going to use this to cut this out you can use your scissors if you want to i'm not gonna no see it's gonna sort of line it up and i use this to cut this sort of semi half circle out i'm shaking i need lunch also doing this on the edges like here on the corners snipping some off great tool to have this um i bought it at flying tigers is sort of a mini miniature ikea <laughs> i believe it's from sweden it's like a, a shop that we have in the netherlands but they probably also have that um in other places in the world see like so well, we're gonna use it on this one of course Or maybe you have another tool that does this. There you go. I have no clue where I'm going to use these. Hello, come out, love is. <laughs> uh, so I'm not inking them yet. I'm going to ink everything when I find a spot to use it. Well, let's go look for it. I'm, not, I'm probably even going to sort of cut them into two because way too big well you could use it as a belly band oh belly band yes <laughs> belly band no we need to do it with this one it's a little bit too big but i am going to have it as a belly band for sure i'm gonna snip this piece off just came up with it now what i did was sort of snip off uh the sort of quarter circles that we made no worries i'm just gonna make them again why not yes yeah now i'm inking because this is the red with the uh, with the black, I'm using the black sweat again. I love having things mini, not miniature, because it could be really, really mini. Is it too long? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It can stick out for a little bit because there's coffee dye on the other side. So if it will peek out a tiny bit, that's okay. A belly band. What is a belly band? If you're really new to junk journaling, um, it sort of holds. Let's say you have a nice card you want to keep in, in here. It sort of holds your card. It's a belly band. Yes. I don't know about your belly, my, but my belly goes this way and not that way. <laughs> so here's one. Uh, I do not want to do anything on here. I do, however, however, want to have a pocket on the back. And I want to use this for it, but it is a little bit too long. Yeah, well, that's okay. We can just shorten it. Cutting up a bit here and here. Still a little bit too long. No worries. Try to make it even on both sides, lovies. Uh, so that these sort of will match up still. Yep, like so. Again, inking them. I'm going to go black suit again. Why not? There you go. Yeah. I'm rounding corners. Because the bottom of the um, this journal also, also has rounded corners. I think it will look nicer. Which does mean that I have to ink it again. But that's okay. And 
you can stamp a number on here or you know fill it in whatever you want i thought it might look cute only inking on the bottom and the two sides yes my cat is snoring again <laughs> If you hear some, something in the background. Sometimes I get a comment like, my cat hears your cat snoring. And he's like, what is going on? <laughs> so cute. Right. So we have a pocket on the back. We have a belly band. What else do we want? Let's go to this page first. Because I want to do a lot of embellishing on here. Do we want to have the same... I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it looked nice. So I'm going to have the same. Do the same trick on here. There you go. Do I still have. I had a star. <clears throat> Do I, have, I still have a star in black? Or oh, I also have flowers. Small flowers. Yes. Let's do a small flower. Let's just. Uh, where am I going to do it? Where, where, where? Here, yes, here. <laughs> where did I do it? Over here. You could also do it with a brad, guys, if you don't have eyelets. And um, this is very fiddly. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. The cover keeps flipping over. I am just, you know, making a hole. Not in the center at all because I couldn't see myself. Doesn't even matter. There you go. It's cute either way. Ta-da! So lovely. It does move about. You can move it. You could move it. So cute. You want to put something over here. Like... Voorzicht is like uh, danger or careful or fragile. No, not fragile, but danger. Let's say danger. Danger, Will Robinson. There you go. Oops. I'm just going to put it here. Yep. Now, I am using um, all the embellishments that came from the page. But, of course, you can also... Sorry, something is slipping on the floor. Um, use some elements from, you know, the collage sheets. Let's say you want uh, this little piece on here. Or this little piece. Or whatever you want. Most of what's on the collage sheet is also... Um, on this sheet but maybe there's some stuff here that you might like i'm not going to use do anything to this i'm only going to um put stuff on the blank pages i'm going to have this one as a flip the same in this small journal i'm going to round these corners just on one side not on the other side because i want this to match uh, the straight line over here straight edge now in order for this to really sort of hold uh, stuff that we're gonna put underneath I am not going to make uh, glue it on a small strip but a little bit of a wider strip like a quarter of an inch see a little bit wider And put it all the way to the edge. And letting it dry. Then it will sort of hold. Other bits and bobs. Do you want to do a ticket here? Do you want to do a ticket as a tab? Yes. <laughs> yes, we want to. Snipping it, snipping it in the middle. Again, making it up as we go. And it's okay because we printed coffee dye on the other side. 
I will, however, also ink then on the other side. I'm going to make two tabs, so I need another page where I can put this tab. I'm a little bit in love with my own kit, I must say. So I'm going to have one tab over here. Oh, what about the other one? Do we uh, still have a page where we can put something on? Well, I'm going to have one over here. Oh, and then one over here. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I do want the numbers on the outside, of course. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to glue it on. I'm not going to make this. You can make this into a tox pot as well by gluing it just um, for a little bit over here on the top. But I'm not going to. Oh, yes, it sticks out. Doesn't it look lovely? Yeah, lovely, lovely. And then the other one I'm going to have over here. Over here? Yes, over here. Again, and with another number. Yep. I made sure not to um, put a tab in the middle because there's uh, the, clo the closure is going to be over there. See? And there you go. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. What else do we have? We have more pages, right? Belly band. Oh, we have something here. What is that we want? A nice sort of small label here or really small one yeah really small so i made these strips you can have them as strips you can have them separate from each other i'm going to have these separate from each other you can also make this into a belly band yeah if you want to no worries and i made them in two sizes like so Danger again. Vorsicht. Yes. Well, let's do it. Uh, where's my inking? Oh, here. Just a small embellishment piece. Or maybe you want to do... Oops. You want to do some stamping. Well, use uh, black or red. There you go. Something here, we have something here. We have this here, this here, we have this here. Are we done? No, we have one more page. I also have this. What are we going to do with this? I could have it as a pocket. I did that with the other one as well. It needs to be smaller. This needs to be straighter. <laughs> Even a bit smaller. I'm not taking a piece of, of the of the date. Again, not straight at all. See me and cutting straight. It's not a thing. I just I just cannot. I cannot. I'm going to round corners on the bottom and put a small notch on the top. I'm using my one inch circle punch for this, just a small notch. Uh, I'm not rounding these corners, no. That was not the middle at all. That's okay. Doesn't matter. There you go. Then we can make this into a small tag. Yes, we can. Ooh, I'm going to take out my tool. Because this is a very small tag. Which means I can use this one. Yay. Uh, however, I am going to take the large angle <laughs> because that's still so small. 
There you go. We're going to punch a hole. Ooh, my hole reinforces. I made these. A couple of videos ago. ago and I, I told you I was going to use them. But honestly, guys, I need red. You know I need red. I need a red one. And I have loads in red, so... You wanna do this? We wanna. We wanna. We're gonna make our own little tag. Um, have it in the middle of. Have it really, really, really in the middle. Thank you. Hopefully this the middle. Mm, could have done a little bit lower. That's okay. It's okay. For those of you who don't know, I have a whole box with hole reinforcers. And I've used um, a die set from Elizabeth Craft Designs, which is called Reinforcement Pack 1. And I have two or three. One of one of one of both. I don't one of which I don't I don't know by heart anymore. You probably do, because you've seen all my videos. There you go. Oh, I love this. I mean, made a mini tag. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. Love it bunches. Uh, what do we have left? We have this one left. That I also really like. I'm just going to ink it. And put it somewhere. Together with a label. Oh, we could do the back. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we can. Together with a bigger label. No. Together with a small one? Yes. Is your video already over an hour? Probably is. <laughs> I should put a timer on or something like it. We like it? We like it. We like it. Fantastic. I am going to snip these in the middle. I am not going to ink them, but put them in here, like so, underneath the belly band. Yeah. And uh, we made another pocket. Didn't we make another pocket? Yes. And then we have this in the back over here. And we have these two. Did we have a tuck? We did have a tuck spot, right? Yeah. I'm going to have this underneath the tuck. Ta-da! Used every bit. Every bit. Yes. Um, I do want to add a little bit more to the, um, to the closure. I have found a couple of beads that I want to put on there. Now the holes of the beads are too small for the needle that will fit on this thread. So I'm going to do another trick, which is um, I'm going to start with red. Um, I'm gonna. Are you gonna do them one by one? You don't even need to do them one by one. Uh, I'm gonna start with. I believe it's like I'm gonna finish with gold or copper, and then black, and then red. I could be completely mistaken that now red is on the bottom and not on the top. If so, red is going to be on the bottom or top, <laughs> whatever, ever which way. Yeah, and then I'm gonna pull the needle threaded through. Like so. No, the, the gold is on the bottom. See that? Now I'm just going to put a couple of knots in. So the beads will hopefully stay on here. Like so. We started with the copper and the black. Yeah, guys, a needle threader. 
And if you have like a large one like this, that is fantastic. It went AWOL for a couple of months. I had to do without. And then when I, when I was sort of cleaning my room, uh, I found it again. Well, I was uh, going through my scraps. It was in my scraps box. Yeah. Did you do it right? You did. Fantastic. A double knot. It will hold it. Yes. It just looks lovely. Let's see how it looks when it is closed. Oh, I also love the tabs. We did well. I'm going to tie it, tie it with a bow. Because oh, why not? Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Let's look at the end result. Here they are. This is the prototype. Still love it. I made a bow in it. See, it's a little bit bigger. So, you know, it's the setting. It's the setting on your on your printer. Uh, still love it. Yeah. It's just cute. It's just really, 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 really cute. So I'm going to keep it as well. And then this one, isn't it cute? I just know. Look at the tabs. Absolutely in love with my own stuff and my own creations. I know. I know. It's like being in love with your own babies. Um, yeah, you open it up. And uh, you could, I could have put a pocket in here, but I really wanted to keep the the seals or the what's the stamps intact. I I still don't. I my French isn't good enough to sort of explain what this is, but you probably will. I have some some French um, subscribers like Georgette. Georgette, you know how this works. Yeah, she can translate for me. Um, lovely pages with the belly band. Isn't that cute? I just, you know, it's just cute. I really like it. With the center, um, well, it's a center fold. You cannot fold it, but it's a center fold. Another tuck here. And then the tabs. So cute. And look at the cute little tag that we made. It's just the cutest. Yeah. Well, I think so. I think it's nice. And then with another pocket in the back. And this on the back as well. So that's the, the project that we made. I'm going to show you the kit one more time. Because I just want to look at it one more time. It's so cute. Yeah. Again, guys. Um, you can cut this out and put it in here. Or cut this out and do whatever you want. Uh, with it um, I am going to do more projects using everything from the kit also the freebie but I really wanted to do this one uh, first so beautiful collage sheet um, I did not print it borderless you could print it borderless if your printer does that and then this one with the, flo with the flowers on it it's just cute 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 with the lovely labels and then a Dutch and French and German. Yes, you can make this into ephemera pieces or in collage. You can make tags with. I'm gonna do stuff with it, guys. I'm gonna do stuff with it. Really cute. And then these were the pages that we used with all the bits and bobs. You know, bits and bobs. Just I would, if I would have bought this kit, I would print this two or three times and then cut everything out, put it in a little box, and use it again and again. That's what I'm going to do, of course. Well, I have real ones of those. I also have real ones of those, but not but not enough. And then the, the coffee diet page. Again, thank you so much for my lovely friend uh, for sending me the coffee diet page. I so appreciate it. I have the original one. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to use this again and again. Isn't it fantastic? I have no clue how she does it. Um, and then this one is from the freebie. Let me show you the freebie. Also available on coffee, uh, on my coffee shop. Not coffee anymore. Um, I'm linking everything below, guys. Then the freebie with the journal pages that you can use. Yeah. And the big one. And then use this uh, for another project. I'm going to use this again and again because I love this page. I love this page a lot. And then back it with another coffee light page. So that's it. That's it, guys, for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I was very excited. Uh, thank you again for all the lovely um, well wishes for my birthday. It's I spent like two hours uh, answering every comment everywhere. 
everywhere. So yeah, I have lots of friends. Uh, very grateful for that. I'll be back again this Friday. Yeah. So I hope you will join me again then with another lovely project. Let me think about it tomorrow, what I'm going to do. I am going to use Michelle's uh, journal kit, um, her Valentine's kit. Yeah, from the Junk Journal Studio. So I'll be on the, it's going to be a cute, sweet one, like a cutesy one. I'll see you Friday, guys. Until then, bye.